today we're uh, with a, a friendly customer looking at his Acer 1760 e lathe and this is the uh, model of lathe with all the bells and whistles it's got uh, the Newell constant surface cutting DRO with uh, the Toshiba vector inverter drive system variable speed within three geared ranges tip here is roughly mid 50s the high 50s Rockwell C and you're transitioning through the weld and you're transitioning into uh, 1045 which is probably in the high 20s low 30s so there's uh, three different materials you're actually cutting as you're feeding the uh, angle by hand with the compound still gives a nice finish nice transition to the power feed here we're going to show the stellite tip being machined and this is a uh, hard material up in the mid to high 50s rock well Same excellent finish on a precision part. What do you say you're holding from end to end? Uh, within two tenths. Within two tenths. Nice cut. So, how long have you owned the uh, Acer lathe? Um, coming up on a year. Coming up on a year. I've had good luck with uh, surface finish. Um, there are various types of material. I do stuff in quantity. It repeats very well. Um, yeah, it runs well off of uh, this particular lathe is running off of uh, residential power through a AC inverter. I've never had any problems with uh, power uh, problems. Uh, like I said, the main thing is it repeats well, and even with the uh, stock three-jaw chuck that comes with it, you can chuck uh, different materials up, and it'll be within a thousands, thousands or so of being on center with just a with just a three jaw. It's very little need to chuck up with a four jaw if what you're doing within a thousands is close enough. 
You're pretty particular about your equipment, aren't you? I try to. Try to keep it clean, keep the ways clean. That's the main thing. So the machine will repeat is keep the grit and grime out of it. T tell the truth. You told me you take apart your compound? Yeah, I take it apart about uh, once every couple weeks and clean it out. Take the, the chuck every week. The jaws come out of the chuck and with some of the, um, the hardened, some of the uh, tool steel I'm cutting is in the mid to high 60s and that's so abrasive you don't want yeah. that in the gear of your uh, in the gear of uh, your uh, chuck but with with almost a year's worth of time on that three jaw i'm still getting uh still getting within thousands of us being on center very good very good